Hello, everyone. Sam is here from creativetradingsystems.com, uh, making this video about uh, daily range. So I'm, in this video, I'm going to show you how uh, daily range can be used to maximize the profit and uh, amount of the pips in each trade. So let's get started. I'm going to use a pair just to show that um, you know what the daily range is and the trades taken and why I close those trades the way I close them. Uh, last week I did uh, some trades um, in pound yen. Okay, so the pair is pound yen. Let me show you that you know the first trade was on the twelfth September twelfth Monday when the market opens up and that's a GJ that's pound yen trade you can see his buy order here and then this is my setup and I took it uh you know a couple of blue candles and i opened the trade when this indicates all the way down and i closed this one here and uh, it was like 105 pip so why did i um hold on to it uh, all the way to 105 pip why didn't i close here or maybe you know why didn't i hold more than 105 pip maybe you know looking for 150 pip or 200 pip and I, I could have uh, closed here, R1, right? This is the pivot. Then this is R1, in a pivot, maybe 50 something. And uh, But I held it all the way to this area for 105 pip. Now, the second trade that I did on pound yen was on the 14th, right? This one, right? It was a short setup. And then this one came down, and it was going down, but I closed it. And I closed it for 115 pip, right? Not 105, I waited for 115, but it was even going further, but I closed it anyway. Then the third pound yen trade, I got it on the 15th. Uh, where the heck is that? You're right there, right? So this is also a short one. And this one I closed for only 85 pip, not even 100, right? So what is the reason? The reason is the daily range and how to use it. That's what I'm going to show here. How the heck happened here? Oh, okay. Let me go on the first trade, right? And then we're going to start from there. The first one was on the 12th, uh, right here, right? 12th, so you pound yet. Now, let me go on the live chart and then show you something. These are the pictures, right? The trades taken. I record this. Okay, now. The live chart is this one, right? This is the live one um, moving. So, this was the first one on the uh, September 12th, right? And I closed it somewhere here. You can see this one right there, right from here to here. This is the entry. Okay. So uh, let me um, show you something that uh, there's an indicator called a daily range indicator. So I'm going to put it on to this chart. Here we go. All right. This is the indicator that tells you the daily range of the pair. Average 60 day daily range. You can read it on the top line. It says average 60 days range 170 pip. Previous day range 125. Current day is 184. Then it gives you the average range for the week. Then it gives you the average of the uh, daily range of for the month and then the move and all of that. But this is what important is the daily range 60 day average daily range is 170, right? That means that pair. Uh, from uh, in a day, like a 24 hour day, right? The day starting, the day finishing on 24 hour, the high from the high to the low, it moves around 170 pip. This average is 170 pip. Sometimes maybe 160, 150, sometimes 200, but average is 170. And then, uh, okay, look at this uh, on the chart. You can see this white dotted line, right? It started, the previous dotted line ended here. This one started here and then ended here. So this is the daily open line. It, the day open here, the previous day closed here, the day open here, and then day, again, this day closes here, the new day open right there, right? So one line represents 24 hour day. So in during that day, right, the, the low to the high, is the daily range, simple as that, okay? So the lowest point and the highest point, then you can say that, okay, this much a pair moved. Now, knowing that the average daily range is 170, if I made an entry here, right, 
then I need to see that where the daily range is finishing and where should be my target. Just before the daily range should be my target. I should, uh, you know, expect that it will go there. And then at that time, I'll close the trade, right? So this day started here, the price dipped first, and then it went up, gave me the entry. My setup builds up here and red candy turns blue, boom, entry here. And then I close here. Let's take a look that from the low to where I close, how many pips? So the daily range, we gonna count from the bottom to the top where it is going, right? So if you see this, um, the day low is right there and the 170 pip you're looking at, right? So 170 pip is right there, okay? 170 pip. And this is where the daily range will be finished. And then the pair can drop. That's where you call profit taking. People will take the profit and it will fall. So this is where you can see that this is where I close the trade. See that from here? Right there. And that's why. Now, why is 105? Because my entry came a little bit higher, right? The day low was this, but my entry is here. So from here on, right from here on to this, that's why my, my trade was, I think I closed it somewhere here. So 105 right there. So I closed the trade there because the daily range is about to reach and pair may retrace. So this is how it is. Now, I would not close here, even if I see as you know the price is dipping. But know that usually when the pair moves uh, in a direction, unless there is a news uh, in the opposite direction, and then pair will just completely go the opposite direction. Unless that happens, the pairs continue to go into the same direction and fulfill the daily range. So this is why this trade was closed for 105 pip because the daily range was almost completed, right? Now look at the second trade, when that happened on the 14th, pound yen, still pound yen, where we know that the daily range is 170. We already saw the indicator, right? So this is the second entry here. And why it is 115, let's take a look. Um, we're gonna go there, right there. This is the second one, all right? 105, um, five, 415 pip on the 14th. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, again, the daily range, I mean, uh, the day started right there. See the white dotted line? Now, pair went up first, then it started to drop, then it went up, then gave me the entry, and then it started dropping, right? So the highest point for this day was this. My entry was here. So from here, we have to count 170 pip for the target, for the daily range target. Right, and up up until then, uh, I can uh, you know simply hold the trade, or I, I I you know I have a choice that you know maybe I'll just just want to close here, you know 50, 60 pip uh, uh, S one, then I'll just you know run away or whatever, or maybe uh, what is this? It's a R one, right? But the thing is, <clears throat> actually this is a, a different day uh, period, so don't worry about that. So now. Let's say, uh, take a look at the, we, we're going to count the daily, uh, daily range pipage from the high of the day. And then let's see where the 116, uh, 170 pip finishes, right? So 170 pip, you can see, read it here. And it is right there, exactly to the pip. Wait, what happened? Gone. Okay. From there, see, see the 170 pip? So this low was 170, right? But my entry was here, and I cannot go below that because after that, the chances are that the pair is going to retrace and look what happened, <laughs> right? This is what happens if you're not careful that, you know, the profit, uh, the market gave, give you the profit, we'll take it back once the daily range is finished. So I made an entry right here. My, my second trade was, look at that. You see this here? Sell order, couple of red candles. I opened the trade. This line is my trade. Right, so I open the trade here and I close it here, right? 415 pip. So let's go back and see that I open the trade here and where 170 pip finishes. Now, so, sorry, from here it's 170, but I close at 115. So my entry was here and for 115 pip was where? Right here. 
right? So just before the range, I close the trade because I wouldn't take a chance that, that it will go back against me, right? So from entry, exit, you know, and even if a little bit more or a little bit less, you know, even 100 pips, that's, you know, good enough, right? Enough, uh, you know, you don't have to be greedy, right? 100 pips is a lot. So uh, 100, 110, 115. But what I'm showing is that the first one was close at 105. And this was, uh, I held it to until 115 because the range was still there. Right, the price supposed to go all the way here, and I close it here. So that was good enough, right? Close enough and good enough. 115 pip. Now, the third one, only 85 pip. Why? Let's go take a look. The third one was the next day. Uh, I missed it. Right there, pound yen on the 15th, right? So this was the entry, and I closed it here. Why? Only 485 pip. Why I didn't hold. Uh, 415 pip, this one. Let's go take a look. Again, the daily range will be in, in play. So this was the trade, right? Now, they open on this one. You see this white dotted line? It's right here. That was the day open. And you see, and this ended here, right? So the, the price, the day open here, the price went down first, then it went up, right? And then from there on, it started to drop. Now, this was the highest point. So we have to count the daily range of 170 from the top to the low. So from the top, the 170 pip comes where? Right there, right, right here. You see that? It came exactly to the, 100, you know, uh, the daily range, the price. But my entry was here, not here. Right? But I can't go beyond this because you know, it will retrace. And it did, but it's a little bit, but it did. So I don't want to take a chance, right? So my entry was here, and from there on, I came close, and I closed to right there, 85 pip. That was the trade, 85 pip, right? So this is where exactly the 85 pip is. You can see here, the entry, right there, sell order, right here. It was. It went down to the... Uh, you know, like uh, uh, exactly to the uh, the daily range, and then it start to come up. I close it. And so I knew that you know it's gonna retrace. Right, daily range is finished, mm -hmm. and it might retrace all the way and eat all of my profit. So what the hell with it? Eighty five pip is enough, right? It went up a little bit, and then so you see all three trades. I was targeting the daily range, and that's why I was successfully closing. 105, then 115, then 85 without price going against me again and take the profit away from me. If you know exactly the daily range of the pair, different pair has different daily range. Not everything has like 170 pip. You know, pound Aussie probably have more than 200 pip. Pound Uzi, pound cat, those are big, right? And then some of those pairs have only 60, 70, which I don't even trade. It's, it's worthless. So um, this one, we went 85, the before that was 115, and then before that was 105. Why all these different? Because it, it depends on my entry point. The high of the low, the daily range stays the same, 170 pip from the top to the bottom. But where, see, this is the top, this is the bottom. If I made an entry from here, I take only 85 pip. If the price would go here and then give me the entry, that's another 30 pip. The probably my trade would be 120. Right, uh, or if it drops here and then give me the entry here and from here to here, my trade will be only probably like 50 55 pip. And you see, uh, some of those trades I close, uh, this is um, like 70 and even 60 65 pip. Uh, uh, see this, it's 55 pip because the daily range was about to come. Right, so this is a day started here, then it dipped here, then it goes up there. So, you know, the daily range, and I don't want to take a chance. So sometimes you have to, uh, you know, take the only 50, 60, uh, uh, you know, 80. Yeah, there was another one for 60, you see 165 pip, pound, US, pound USD, only 65 pip because, it, you know, the day started and the daily range, if you count, then you have to close the trade and run. Okay. So that's why I said that, okay. Uh, let me explain the daily range, and that's why uh, you should not close the trade too early. 
if you make uh, an entry, it doesn't matter if you're using this system or any other system, uh, you can have this uh, indicator daily range. You can just count it daily range, right? That's to find out the day, you can press the control and uh, the key number L, right? Not L, okay, it didn't work. Uh, control and maybe, ah, shift, okay, control and Y maybe. Um, what the heck, okay. Oh, this is a picture, I'm sorry. Uh, that's why, no wonder. Okay. Now, you see this one? To find the daily range the whole day, if you don't have that indicator, if you press and uh, uh, you know, control, press and hold, and press Y, the key Y, this is um, the day. See this uh, September 15? Um, and no, that's uh, Y. Is, okay, this is probably a week on a 20 minute. Uh, from no, this is a day. Okay, this is a one day. So these uh, between these two lines is the day. So see the September um, fourteen from there, and then this is September fifteen twenty one. This is September you know fourteen twenty one. So between these two lines is a day, and it, that's where I see this dotted line it started, and this dotted line finishes. Right, it finishes here, and the new line started here, and then it goes all the way here, uh, sixteen twenty two. 100 hours, 2200 hours. So this is one day, all one day, right? So you can find out the day and the daily ranges. So in, in, between these two lines, the highest point is the, the high of the day and the lowest point is the low of the day. And that is the amount of pivot between the high and the low is the daily range. Compare that and find your entry and then look for the target for the according to the daily range and Try to get out before it reverses against you, All right? And not only that, but um, it, it is good also to hold on to the trade. I mean, a lot of people will go short here, and then um, one of my uh, subscriber he did the same thing. I was doing on one on one, and he said that he closes right here because he found uh, he felt like it is going to be uh, like a su support, some kind of support here, and he closes. I says why? <laughs> because it supports. Always supports and resistance. They are all, you know, all the time they're broken. You know, the price breaks them all the time. And usually what is happening is that they are going for the daily range for the day. So move happens. If you make an entry and you know that uh, the time is all, you know, the, day, the, the time of the day is still there and the volume time is still there and you have the daily range left, maybe 60, 70 pip, don't close the trade. Hold on to it. It will go to the daily range. So I just showed you that I took three trades last week on this pair. I have so many other trades, but I'm just showing that only this pair, keep, keeping in my head that the range is 170. So every time I made an entry, I went for that daily range target. And all three times I was successful, uh, even though it was a different year, 105, then 115, then 85, because of my entry. The position of my entry during that between that uh, daily range uh, uh, distance, right? So day started here. My entry was even above the day starting point, so that's why I was able to pull 115 here. But the other one uh, a little less. So I hope that I clear that. Uh, it's a very very useful tool. If you can pay attention, you can uh, you know literally stop closing your trades too early and hold on to the, your trade for the maximum price. Because see the SL always hit, right? We make mistakes always. Uh, for example, uh, if I, you know, it's a lot of uh, places where you, I make an entry and then the price goes against me, right? And, and the SL hit for like maybe 10 pip and 15 pip. So we have to cover that losses too and come up with the profit. So you have three or four SL hit for like say 15 pip H or 20 pip H, five SL hit, that's 100 pips gone. So we have to cover that. So if we do not hold trades like this, then how are we going to cover that, right? So if I say that you know, I made 500 pip, that means that 500 minus the 200, actually it was like 700 minus 200, so 500 pip profit. Or 500, or sometimes 400, that means you know I took out the losses, the SL hit. Why? Because I have to hold, I usually hold these pairs around 90, 80, 100, 120, 130. My losers are 10 pip, 15 pip like that. And they are fewer. 
this system that I have here is like it has more than 70% uh, positivity. It means it, you know, 70, uh, out of 10 trades, seven will go my way. Like this one, this one I completely missed because I was testing my new alarm and I increased the distance. Let me show you here quickly that see this CTS alarm. When you apply that, it's it has a distance here, right? It's 70. So if I had keep if I uh, had it there, uh, like 70 pip, I would have taken this trade easily. Alarm will beep and I would have taken it. But I was testing for 60 pip on the Friday. So I changed it to 50. And what happened? This distance was, at the time of the entry, was 65. My alarm didn't beep because it was more than the distance. My EA reads the distance, right? So I, I made it 60 and this was more than 60, so I didn't get it. If I had ke uh, kept it for a 70 pip distance, I would have taken this trade as well. And this would be around from here. You see all the way here, this let's say white line is 120 pip trade. So I missed that. I didn't lose it. I didn't, you know, lost the money, but you can say that I missed the trade. It's okay to miss the trade <laughs> rather than losing a trade, right? So this is how you use the daily range. So um, uh, I hope that, you know, that will help you guys a little bit. So just I wanted to show you uh, how you can maximize the profit. So thanks for watching and have a wonderful weekend.